All right, guys. So here we are with our little RTX 1470 build, and basically you might be wondering, hey, but how do I undervolt it to get you know less heat, less uh, degrees in temperature, and pretty much more FPS? Well, quite simply. Now you just have to run Heaven Benchmark with the one we are running here right now. I will leave a link in the description down below. And at this point, you just open up MSI Afterburner. Um, so that you can see the actual frequency of, of the GPU, uh, you know, in the top left. Now at this point, we just get the max frequency, which is which in this case is 1980 megahertz. All right. Uh, now at this point, you want to hit Control F. All right, hit Control F, and this one will come out. All right, this is our curve. At this point, you just hit minus 250 on the core clock to lower the curve, and then you hit Apply. All right, now once you've done it, you go here and you read those numbers down below, you want to get the 900 one, all right? So you get it and you bring it up to the frequency the card was going to before. So in this case, uh, how was it? Uh, it was 1980. So just bring it up to 1980 and then hit apply. And boom, guys, your under vault has been done. Now the card, uh, may vary, you know, from card to card, so you might need 19, you know, 925, or you might be good with 875. At this point, you just go back here on your memory clock, and you give it a nice plus 800. That will work for every 3070 out there. Then you hit apply, and now our RTX 3070, in this case, it's a Zotac uh, Twin Edge OC White, it's undervolted and overclocked, and it will run cooler. As you can see, we dropped around, you know, seven degrees from before at the same frequency as before, and it's actually running with more performance because we overclocked the memory. Uh, most cards can also do uh, 1000 on the memory, so you can test that one out, but those settings are gonna be, uh, you know, the ones that work for 99% of the cards. So just try them out, maybe let the test run for a bit, and let me know how it, how it goes. This is everything from my water in PSUs. You might want to drop a sub, and I also have some other guides uh, for other GPUs and CPUs. See you in the next one. Bye.